So how do you stay on top of all your content? Things can get crazy, as you know, when you're writing blog posts, and maybe you have a goal of writing a couple of blog posts each week. Uh, Things can get often a little disorganized, especially when you're ready to sit down and write and you have no idea what to write about. So what do you do? Well, it's a question we often get is, how do you do an editorial calendar? Do you use an editorial calendar? What tools do you use to manage your content? And there's certainly many ways, and honestly, I've done many different things in the past. So my first answer to you, if you're wondering what you should do, my first answer to you would be to simply use something that works for you. If you're not using the tool, it doesn't matter how cool it is. You got to use it. I know in the past I've used a whiteboard. That worked pretty effectively. Uh, I've used a physical calendar. Um, I've used a Google Calendar. But what I've found that has worked the most for me, and this is just for me, and this is, you know, I'm not going to recommend things that I'm not using. So this is what we use. Bob and I use this. We use this on all of our blogs, to be honest with you, is we use something called the WordPress Editorial Calendar. It's a free plugin that you can get. And maybe in the past you've looked at this before and either moved away from it or decided to use something else. They've added some new features that I have found to be very valuable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm right inside of WordPress, and when you add the plugin, you get this cool calendar right inside WordPress. There's many things that you can do here. You can see if I move on any date, I click on New Post. And when I click on New Post, I can add a title, I can add, I can write content. A lot of times I'll just write down the essential thought or idea that I'm trying to get. I can set the status and even the time. But a really cool feature that you may not have seen before is if you come over here, you will see Show Unscheduled Drafts. By clicking on that, that's when the magic happens. This is where you can collect blog post ideas. You see, in the past when I did not have this feature, I didn't see it or didn't use it, I would just put my ideas out there on the calendar, and as the weeks would go by, my idea would kind of be in the deep blue sea of the past. (laughs) It was gone. It was in the black hole. And I'd have to scroll back to try to find out which ones were my drafts, which ones that I need to write. But by using this unscheduled feature, you can easily collect new things. You can have a little brainstorming session. See if I click on new draft, boom, new blog post idea save and then now it's going to show up for me over here now I can just collect ideas and ideas and ideas I can have a brainstorming session and try to come up with 40 ideas that way my well is full when I'm ready to sit down and write I'm not starting from a place of the dry desert not knowing what to write about there's nothing more frustrating than staring at the blinking cursor and thinking, I've got time to write a blog post, I'm not inspired, I don't know what to write. By having these ideas over here, it can help you to overcome that. So you always want to be capturing ideas, but that's for another video. But if I wanted to try to map out a content strategy or plan, I can simply grab this, drag it, and land it somewhere. And then now it's going to be scheduled on that particular date. If I'm ready to write it, I can click on edit and now I can write. Or those that I've already written, I can move them to different dates. So instead of Friday, I want this to run on Saturday. Now it's going to move that over and it's going to schedule it all inside WordPress. But I want this on Friday, so I better move it back. But as you can see, it's a real simple tool. You've got some extra options if you click on screen options. You can check uh, how many weeks at a time you want to look at, if you want to look at four weeks in advance, if you want the author or the status to be shown or the time of day. You can certainly make those adjustments. This is a real simple tool. It's what we use to schedule out. As you can see, I'm scheduled out about a week ahead of time on my other blog, on one of my other blogs. And 
it's ready to go. Now, when I get more time to write the rest of this week, I can sit down and pick from these. Or I can click on New Draft and add more ideas of things I want to write about. So that is how you use the WordPress editorial calendar. I hope that helps. And by the way, we, we actually talk about in great detail how to write and use an editorial calendar inside our Blogging Your Passion University. We've had hundreds of students go through our university courses on how to find your passion and make money blogging about it. Just look down below this video and click on the link and go find out more about getting started as a student inside of BYPU. That's it for now.